Hello everyone and welcome to Sinful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today we have another Black Library review for you and today we're looking at the audio drama called Sons of Behemoth written by Graham Lyon and performed by Tom Alexander, Beth Chalmers, Steve Conlon, Richard Garant, Toby Longworth and Richard Reed. Sons of Behemoth is a tale about the Sons of Behemoth, obviously. Monstrous offspring of an almighty god beast, these mega gargants trample across the mortal realms, destruction following in their wake. Kraken Eater, Gatebreaker, War Stomper, each is a force of nature, and no one who encounters them is left unchanged. On the eve of battle against these immense foes, a group of soldiers recall the horrors they have faced in these warriors' fearsome presence, even as they prepare to stand against them one final time. And so, that's the general story we're going with. It's a really nice set of stories. This could have been written as a bunch of separate stories, having each of these characters tell. But having them talk about it around a campfire and having it, um, like, as campfire stories was a really interesting take. And then led to the final battle after the campfire stories, which is just, it all came together really nicely in this. Um, personally, my favourite character, I really liked the um poor, yeah i'm gonna go with the free guild general who's in the stories he just talks about and like listens to the story he gives out the first story talking about his experience with a gun which was actually quite positive and then follows along sort of um listening to his comrades and then him his part in the end battle he's a really cool character i mean in this personally there's not any character you really grow overly attached to it's more a showcase of showing what the sons of behemoth are all about and none of the gargants really there's no real big sticking character in this to be honest um they all sort of have their part to play but no one really stands out free good general for me he was probably just the mo main focal point i think of the story the characters do feel real though. By sitting around a fire, having them tell tales and experiences of something they've faced in battle, it really gave you a good sense of uh, realism to the characters, their experiences and how they felt facing these giant monstrosities. The story did keep me guessing. I mean, I wasn't expecting some of the stories we got and all the cool little stories that were told around the campfire really did leave you with different thoughts about the Sons of Behemoth. Um, and the ending is pretty cool as well. The final battle with the actual army of Sons of Behemoth is really fun as well. Favourite part of the book? I'm going to go... There's one of the stories that's got a Gargan and he's got a Grok companion and they, their conversation between each other is really funny. Um, Grots in audio dramas are just great for me. Um, they're just such comical, malicious little characters. I really enjoy listening to Grots in audio dramas. Uh, scenes made me feel strong. I mean, you felt stuff at the end. In the final battle, when everything comes to its conclusion, you feel the characters because you've got these experience for them. And it does really well at wrapping up experiences and making you feel for characters despite only being just shy of an hour long um, of an audio drama, which is really cool that it's managed to draw you in and do that with it. Um, and yeah, it does keep you gripping. By having these short little stories and having them told around the fire, you're waiting to see each character's reaction from each different story um, that gets told around the campfire, and it all sort of just keeps you invested and interested. For me, though, I think my biggest gripe with this is probably I would have liked to see the final battle maybe a little bit more um, explored, but this was a short audio drama, and maybe, yeah, maybe we could have seen, like, a fight at the end of this... Um, but it does leave itself open at the end for potentially more stories about particular characters within the book. Um, and I'd be interested to see where that goes if they choose to take on these characters and show them off a bit more later down the line. Um, like I said though, like you, it does well at capturing the characters, but it doesn't really explore too much of them except their experience with Gargans. Um, so that's also, I guess, a negative about it. But once again... There's not really a lot of time here. For me, this is a great look for anyone looking to get into Sons of Behemoth, um, whether including them as an ally in your Warhammer Age of Sigma force or getting a full army of Sons of Behemoth. It does show both instances of this and how they interact, um, which is really cool, both as allies for order and against order, which is cool. Um, 
and I reckon many people who've just gone and seen Sons of Bahamut will like this little audio drama. For me, though, I think, um, personally, this might get, um, maybe, or what am I going to give this? For me, I reckon this is a solid 7 out of 10 Realmstone audio drama. For me, that end scene needed to be a little bit longer. I think that's where it lacks, um, but it does really well exploring the characters, putting the Sons of Bahamut in the focus really well. Um, and all the voice acting, I will say, is done really, really well in this one. I really enjoyed everyone who took part in making this come to life, uh, along with all the sound effects and all of that. But definitely, thank you for watching. I'd love to know if you've picked this up and given it a listen, what you thought of it. So we hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any Black Library books you'd like us to review in the future, please do let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget also to like the video and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the Black Library reviews that we do in the future. A special thank you to all the people though who support the channel on Patreon. You're all fantastic people. Thank you so much to our Sinful Guard Militia, Christian Weir, Philip Ward, Cal Spawn and Soren, and our Sinful Free Guild Regiment members, James and AJC. Thank you so much for your additional support for the channel. If you'd also like to help more and support the channel on Patreon, you can do so by following the link down in the description of the video down below. Lastly, in the description as well, you'll find a link to our Discord server where you can come in and make your requests even more heard about what you'd like to see us review from Black Library over there. But also, you can come chat with me and other members of our fantastic community there. But that's it for today, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, stay safe, stay well. Most of all, keep fighting that war against the grey. And also, read those books on your goddamn shelf.